here is a pretty good uh, chat GPT AI Google SEO hack. Don't see a lot of people talking about this, so I thought I'd share it with you. So whether you're an SEO expert, a content writer, marketer, small business owner, doesn't matter. You can leverage this to write not just better blog posts, but better content as well. All right. So let me tell you what this is. So thanks for watching. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So uh, if you like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, so this came about from uh, talking today. We had a show and I'll leave this in the uh, comments with Steve Toth, who is I think one of the leading experts uh, on SEO. And we talked about some non-traditional ways that you can use AI for SEO, aside from just, you know, hey, you know, blindly going into ChatGPT and saying, write a long blog post about this, because that's always not very good. So here is something that we kind of talked about. And I've actually never done it this way. I've done it other ways. Uh, in, but kind of a conversation with Steve today kind of spurred this idea. Uh, so he talked about uh, kind of manually, you know, always looking at, um, you know, the people also ask uh, kind of things in here. So if you ever search Google for whatever, uh, you, you know, you're looking at. So let's just say as an example, you own a uh, a store and you're trying to sell uh, more binoculars, right? You have an outdoor store, something like that. Maybe it's e-commerce, maybe it's, it's, it's local, both, right? So as an example, you could type in best binoculars for birding, right? So you can think, what's my customer actually searching? So, you know, one thing, you know, someone asked Steve what his favorite SEO tool was, and I was expecting something wild. And he said, Google. And I'm like, yeah, like that's actually a really good point, right? So you can see exactly what people are searching for. So think whatever your business is, think of what your customer is actually searching in and what they want to know. Uh, so kind of the quote unquote hack here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and refresh this so uh, we can see it live. Is to really go down here to the people also asked, right? So this is a great resource. Uh, but but what a lot of people don't know is when you extend one, more come. So think like if you want to, as an example, create a blog post for this term, think of what other things people might be searching for. So you, you know some of these are are very particular. It looks like this eight by forty two is is a popular one. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click this, and you'll see more come down. Um, so I'm going to keep clicking these, I'm going to keep clicking these and we keep getting more and more of these things that people also asked. Right. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all of these extended and I'll kind of tell you why and show you why here's kind of where the, the little hack comes in. Right. So I'm going to make sure all of these are extended. All right. And there we go. So most of them are extended, but then we also have all these other, all right, there's actually like tons more now, uh, but this should be enough. So now I'm going to use a Chrome browser extension, uh, called voila. Uh, we've covered this on the show before, you know, any real Chrome extension, AI power, GPT power, Chrome extension can do something similar. Uh, I like voila. It's a great tool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually click the extension and hopefully you can see it here and I'm going to zoom in. So I just have a little kind of prompt saved, but the key here is, uh, to click something, uh, in voila that says use current page as context. Uh, so what that means is essentially I can chat with this actual page and tell, you, you know, this uses GPT-4. Uh, so what I'm saying is, you know, please create an SEO optimized blog post outline. So right now I'm just using this to create an outline. Um, and I'm, you, you know, I'm telling it to pay special attention to the people also asked section. All right. So essentially I'm telling it to write a blog post outline, but very relevant to actual Google results, uh, which can save a lot of time. There's a lot of programs that do this. Most of them are pretty expensive. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click send. And what we're going to get here is hopefully a pretty good, uh, outline with very relevant, uh, search terms, right? So, uh, if you wanted to rank for this, for Google, this is a great thing to do. It would take time. Or like what Steve said, if you already have a human, you know, an article that a human wrote, and maybe you're on page three of Google. Google, this is a great thing to do as well. And then to take this and to say, update, you know, update my, my blog post accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy, uh, just copy that. And then I'm going to go into chat GPT. So I have a GPT and I'll leave it, uh, I'll leave a link, but it's the blog post article image generator alt task, right? Uh, so I'm essentially just going to say, I'm going to paste what I just had in there. Okay. So this is what I just got out of Voila. Oh no, I actually copied the wrong thing. Let me make sure I get the correct thing here. All right. So let me just go ahead and copy this. So now I have that response copied. All right. There's my, all my information there. Um, and then I'm just going to say, please generate a fully SEO optimized blog post based on this outline, right? So I am just using Google and the people also asked, um, to create a very good outline. 
Uh, because a lot of times if you just go into chat GPT, even if you're using a custom GPT built for something like this, it doesn't always do a great job if I'm being honest. But if you give it a very high quality input based on what's currently ranking in Google using that people also ask tip, uh, this is actually really good. So let's go ahead and um, kind of see what we got. So the thing I like about this GPT is it also uh, you know, gives you images uh, inside Dolly at the same time. So these images aren't that great, but is it better than nothing? You know, maybe, maybe you could use that, um, you know, as a, as a title, as a title image, or, you know, if you have a, um, a page with all your blog posts and it just has a little teaser and it has a little, um, you know, thumbnail image, you could definitely use that. So uh, it's, it's not, it's not great. Uh, the image here. Okay. So it looks like all right. So it says it can't write a complete blog post. Interesting. I did a, uh, I did a test on that before and it worked just fine, but, uh, Hey, that's, that's generative AI for you. So let's just go ahead. Let's just do this live, right? Let's just, let's just do blog post generator. Um, so here we go. We'll try this one here. All right. So we're saying, please, uh, generate a fully SEO optimized article based on this outline. And then we're going to paste our outline in there and let's see if we can get, get one from, uh, from this GPT. Hey, we, sorry, we, we, we try to give the other one a shot. It didn't work very well. So let's see, there we go. All right. So we'll let this kind of ride out and let me give you some advice on how you can use this. Uh, number one, if you don't know where to start, this is great, right? Or, uh, you know, a lot of people use this, uh, or use chat GPT to just get, almost get a first version, right? So what Steve recommended, and you can do this either way is to first use a human written article and then use this technique to improve the human written article, or you can do it vice versa, right? So I don't know anything about best binoculars for birding, but now I have a decent enough, um, a decent enough blog post that I could go in and, you know, I could try to give this a little bit more of a human touch. So, uh, pretty, pretty good way. And it also, you know, includes the, you know, the images and alt text, internal and external links, you know, a suggested call to action, a meta description, all that stuff that would normally take you a little bit of time to write. So a uh, pretty, pretty good tip and technique that I haven't really seen shared a lot, just really leveraging what's already there uh, with Google and then using a browser extension to capture all of that information. All right. Hopefully this is helpful. If it was, let me know. Go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. We, de we do these little AI and fives almost every day, just little tips and tricks uh, to grow your company, grow your career. We'll see you back for another one. Thanks, y'all.